Hello, I'm Larry Edward Davidson, and today I have the privilege of sitting down with a key member of one of the biggest LED grow light companies in the world, who, for some reason, has requested to keep his identity hidden. I'm not quite certain why a light manufacturer would prefer to keep himself in darkness, but okay. Without further ado, let's get going. How long have you been making LED grow lights? Oh, I'd say about three years now. Same as everyone else. <laughs> and what inspired you to get into the cultivation business? Easy money. Why else? It's a growing industry, pun intended, and that comes with a chance to make a buck. But I imagine you also have a passion for growing the plant, yes? Um, no, not really. Then the environment, uh, a need to reduce the energy impact of high wattage, high pressure sodiums, DEs, the like. No, not really. <laughs> Well then, what did you invest in to get your products and business off the ground? Five-star Amazon reviews, social media shills, and marketing. I'd say most of our expense goes into marketing. Okay, well, how did you familiarize yourself with LED technology, specifically in the context of horticulture? We didn't. I'm not certain I understand. Light is light. There really isn't much more to it than that. Put a light over a plant, and it'll grow. I'm not certain that's entirely accurate. It is if you throw enough wattage at it. We just put a bunch of white diodes in there. They have blue, yellow, green, orange. White has all the colors in it. Duh. So we just take an everything but the kitchen sink approach to lighting. We stack a shit ton of white diodes in there. We like to think the plants will take what they want and just reflect the rest. Yes, but won't that throw the proper proportions of photons way out of whack? Well, yeah, but who cares? But if you're using white diodes as a source of your blue vegetative photons, won't you be way oversupplying yellows and greens? Yes. So what? Heat dissipation, electrical consumption, stretching plants, suboptimal harvests? Not my problem. Elaborate. I'm not managing the grow. What if you were? I wouldn't be growing with white light, that's for sure. If that's the case, then why are you putting it in your light fixture? It's pretty obvious now. Look around. White LED diodes are everywhere. They're used across industry. Office lights, house lamps, cars, street lights. Literally, across all industries. So what does that mean for me? Cheap and readily available. Those specialty diodes are expensive and hard to find good ones. So let me get this straight. You're putting white diodes into fixtures even though you know that that's not what plants want and need to thrive. It was a business decision. The plants won't die or anything. Like I said, we just put a ton of extra wattage in there so the plants can get their precious blue from that. Isn't that dreadfully wasteful? Inefficient? Well, yeah, but I'm not paying the electric bill. <laughs> but your customers are. That's their job to watch their overhead and bottom line. It's my job to sell lights and watch ours. This is all mind blowing to hear. I mean, most people are at least familiar with the photosynthetic spectrum. They know what plants absorb and reflect. I'm, how are you getting away with this? Like I said, our primary expense is marketing. And this was an easy sell. Hey, look, everybody. The sun is white and yellow, just like our light. The sun is good for plants. Also, every LED maker was thinking the same thing. I don't like competition, but I do love that they perpetuated the same white lies as us. Makes it an easier pill for the customer to swallow. There's even safety in numbers. But won't a lot of that light just get reflected by stressed plants and produce hard to manage excess heat? Not to mention wasted costs and electricity? Like a ton of wasted costs. Shh. <laughs> Not my problem. Do me a favor, put yourself in your customer's shoes for a minute. If I was in their shoes, hmm, I'd probably grow with kind LED grow lights. Those suckers actually put blue in all the wavelengths in their spectrum in the right proportion. There is literally no wasted light in their fixtures. Must cost them a fortune, suckers. Super efficient, effective light though. Thank you for your time today, sir. Good day. You're welcome. We are now sitting down with the chief product designer of a leading LED grow light company. Uh, it's Kind LED Grow Lights? <clears throat> yes. What got you into LED grow lighting? You know, it was really just a passion for indoor cultivation. We've been doing horticultural products for nearly two decades now. And when LEDs first hit the scene, we saw an opportunity to not only lessen the environmental impact that lights were having on the industry, but also to give the plant what it needs in terms of light output 
and the correct spectrum. We're super excited to see a technology that could finally break the ceiling of what cultivators were achieving in their grow rooms, and we're super proud of what we've done. Why do you believe other LED grow light companies are using primarily white diodes in their fixtures? You know, white diodes have their place. Um, they contain a really high amount of what we consider microspectra, and we mostly use them to buff out our spectrum between the important spectrums of red and blue. Well, you could be saving money by using them. Why does my voice sound funny? And why is it so dark in here? You know white diodes are cheaper to produce and manufacture because they're used across all industries. Look, we're a plant first company. We're here to design the best grow light possible regardless of the cost. This is weird. Can someone turn on a f light in here? Great. Now let me break this down for you. White diodes are cheaper to produce and although they measure high in efficacy, they use a spectrum that creates a bunch of wasted light for the plants. This wasted light costs the grower more in electric bills and also increases the heat output, and it just doesn't provide what the plants want and need for optimal growth, and it never will. Not to mention your plants want a different spectrum at different stages of growth. Every kind LED grow light has multiple spectral channels to give your plants the perfect light for veg and flower. This is why our customers say they get the biggest, most potent yields possible with Kind LED.